we suppose we I assume that there's been another past a disaster when we hear the news lately that another raving pseudo Christian minister has fallen I really don't like this and none of us who are saved like to hear these stories because the name of our Lord Jesus Christ is being dragged through the dirt and it's Satan's work Satan raises up religious zealots, ambitious people, career-minded showmen and pumps them up to a certain point and then of course uh, gets some women alongside and of course um, women are attracted to powerful men in positions and even in Christian circles they will go about seeking to seduce that man. I have seen ever so many, you know, or know of several, ever so many who have fallen just like this. The majority of them, the vast majority of them are just church people, ambitious, religious, zealots. And recently there's just been another one, or we assume this is what's happened. Uh, and the, the person this time is Todd Bentley. Uh, of the fake land, because it sure isn't Lakeland, the fake land revival in Florida with all the fake healings and the fake and the showmanship and the tattoos and the garbage and the, the ghastly music and the, uh, all the other tosh that goes on in these charismatic godless circles. And with, there is a site uh, which is Todd Bentley's ministry site. If you don't know what it is, it's called freshfireministries.ca. And if you scroll down, you will see um, an announcement from the board of directors that Todd Bentley's been asked to stand down for a season of counselling. <laughs> counselling. Because he's entered into a unhealthy emotional relationship with a female member of staff. I, I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty certain that that's code for adultery. It's certainly as good as adultery. I don't point a finger at Todd Bentley. If anyone watching this happens to be a uh, servant of the Lord and an elder, a man of God, you be careful, watch the women. Satan will bring women alongside you to attempt to seduce you and get you off the tracks. Even and usually professing Christian women. It is, I'm afraid, a sad fact that the vast majority of professing Christian women are completely carnal and or you know more open in the flesh to the things of satan and they will overrule the truth and the holy spirit of god and go after the man they fancy and seek to seduce the man for themselves and satan's quite good at getting the women to do that even amongst genuinely saved people, it can happen because women are weaker in the flesh and much more uh, able to be used of the enemy than a man is. That doesn't mean that men can't be, you understand, we have enough problems with fakes. However, uh, you know, Todd Bentley has fallen to some degree, whatever it was. And there but for the grace of God go I. Uh, mercifully, I am not a handsome man. Uh, therefore, I don't have women chasing after me, which is very, very useful indeed. <laughs> uh, oh, the blessings of being an ordinary man. However, people like Todd Bentley and various others that we've seen through history end up disgracing the name of our Lord. 
This is Satan's, I don't know, armory we're talking about. It's one of his tools. And getting the men away from Christ using women and sexual attraction, appealing to the flesh, is one of those weapons he uses. Todd Bentley is not a servant of God. Todd Bentley displays none of the characteristics of a servant of God. He is, has no fear of God. There's no sign of genuine new birth in him. Uh, may have got forgiveness for sins at some point, but he sure ain't a type one Christian, a narrow way Christian. Uh, and as far as I can tell, he's not a type two either. He's a zealous type three, who's found that by doing certain things, like William Branham, whom he quotes quite a lot, and whipping things up and pumping things and getting things going, he can stir up a fake flesh faith and he can see manifestations of spirits, which he attributes to God, which is nothing to do with the Lord at all. The Lord Jesus Christ didn't rant or rave. The Lord Jesus Christ didn't knee people with colon, the colonic cancer in the stomach in giving them severe pain. He didn't hit people, kick people in the face and all sorts of things like that that, Tony, uh, that Todd Bentley is famous for. Claiming it's a work and instruction of God. The man's a liar. Uh, and uh, he's nothing like Christ, whatever. Christ-likeness and the fear of God are hallmarks of a man of God. So quite apart from that particular thing and all these pumping these men up to uh, disgrace the Lord by their disgusting behaviour, having pumped them up to great heights of pride, he then precipitates their fall. In doing so, he damages the faith of a lot of people who have been deceived in the first place but have then seen their idol, in this case Todd Bentley, disgraced and fall. And the people are then emboldened to allow extreme sin, like adultery, and whatever, provided it's forgiven, oh well that's okay, he can carry on as a minister. Uh, my view is that if you've done something horrendous like that, that is the end of your work as a minister of God. You have to t humbly take your place as an ordinary member of the body, uh, but there we are. Um, totally unlike a man called Michael Reed in Essex at the moment, who is refusing to accept that his eight-year systematic hypocritical adultery uh, disqualifies him from all ministry forever, but there we are. Todd Bentley has disgraced the name of Jesus. Satan has struck a blow against all sorts of people who sadly believed that what Bentley was doing was a work of God and that the Lord works like that these days. He doesn't. Uh, I'm very, very sorry to report that, that uh, an awful lot of people will be hurt by this. And I, if that's you and you've been involved in this, I'm sorry, but you've been deceived. That was a demonic work to start with and has ended up in the Christ disgracing mess that you see there now. Let's all just remember this, that there but for the grace of God go you and I and we cling to our Lord and we remember to say no to Satan. Satan's hard at work and in Christian circles. By and large he leaves the world alone because they all serve him anyway. He's after us and doesn't want any counter testimony. So let's just uh, uh, stand by and watch as we see the inevitable consequences of this uh, so-called revival in fake land and uh, we see it all fizzle out now because this wasn't anything to do with the Lord if it was it would just go on if one man falls by the wayside makes no difference but this is the Todd Bentley work and because Todd Bentley's been knocked down the whole thing will now fizzle to a load of old church <laughs>